Grand rising, grand rising, or good afternoon, depending upon what time you are listening. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. This time space sequence we call May the 9th, 2020. I will be reading the blog post from the uh, website at freeyourthinkingmind.com from today entitled, Are You Ready for a Win? Are you ready for a win? This is part one of a two-part blog post. Our affirmation for today, when I show up, winning shows up with me. When I show up, winning shows up with me. Where does this hatred in 2020 come from? Are we not in the land of the free home of the brave? Are we not in a great democracy? The problem for most of us is that we think democracy is a stagnant creation that only means what is meant, what was meant by certain men who wrote it in 1788. But when these men wrote the preamble beginning, we the people, they created a living idea that was greater than the men who wrote it. And in order for democracy to survive and thrive, it must evolve and adjust with the people, all people. At the time this constitution was written, I will concede that based on what we call the color of my skin, I was considered property and not a part of the people. I was no different than a dog, a car, a computer, a horse, a slave in that document. People who look like me, my bloodline of forefathers at the time this document was created, and for many years to follow, were intentionally excluded as people because the people who wrote this document could not face the dissonance that the freedom from slavery they were seeking from the Europeans, they were inflicting on a people no different than them. So to justify this dis dissonance, they had to have felt, unless they were inherently barbaric, barbaric. they developed laws, ideas, science, theology, and ideologies that did have been passed down through the generations that people of a darker skin are somehow less human. I am human. People who look like me are human. We are all beings. You who are the progenies of an abusive people need to face the dissonance and the consequential beneficial system created by your forefathers so that you can heal and understand without fear that life will change because people will change. Black people's acceptance of their humanity and their right to existence, not as your chattel or property, is not your enemy no matter what your forefathers believed or taught you. We, who are the progenies of an abused people, need to face the dissonance our forefathers had to experience, knowing on one hand they were human beings, just like their so-called masters worthy of a great life here on earth, but having to accept on the other hand a life worse than that of a dog. Never feel blessed to eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table and let no slave master's preacher, not even today, preach you happy with this fate. This was never your fate. My forefathers were kidnapped, stolen, beaten, raped, and tortured by other human beings 
for no reason other than how the sun reflects off their skin. For no reason other than how the sun reflects off their skin and wealth could be built off their backs. My people were too focused on just surviving in a land where, th- where thriving didn't seem to be an option by the God or powers to be who ruled this land. And this survival mentality was passed down through the generations, even to today. Have we not had wars that representatives from the all so-called races fought in? Have we not had enemies we all stood together and faced as one country? Why is it that today in 2020, we are dealing with ignorance that should have died with all of our forefathers? Today's ignorance and continued hatred and inner frustrations stem from a past we are afraid to face. It's time to face it with no filter and open discussion. It's time to feel the hurt of your ancestors' pain with sincerity of whatever you actually feel or don't feel. It's time to feel the fears of your ancestors through their lenses. And it's time to reconcile the cognitive dissonance our ancestors had to feel to do what they did and to take what they took. Unless you have dealt with this trauma fully, And I am not sure if fully is possible. We all suffer today from a similar but different side of the coin type of pain from the same past terror by one group of people over another group of people. People who identify as white are internally fighting even now for superiority you never actually had. Your forefathers killed and stole for it. We as black people are fighting even now to defeat an inner feeling of inferiority. We are not inferior. Stop fighting that feeling. It's a waste of your energies. It's not true. We were stolen, beaten, tortured and enslaved physically, mentally, emotionally, and yes, spiritually. Facts. Your forefathers created an illusory competition in their minds the day the Declaration of Independence was signed. They felt they had to now compete with the legislative creative people that they believed were and should always be their property based on the Constitution. My forefathers were never property, no matter what that document said. They were a people your forefathers stole and abused. Let it be known, my forefathers never came for your forefathers. Your forefathers came to Africa for my forefathers. Facts. Everyone needs a win in their lives. But I am not talking a win as in that illusory competition created by the forefathers of old. No one can win in that competition. I am talking a different kind of win. A win is an alignment of who you think you are and can be with who you show up as. My ancestors, despite the abuse they endured, were winners. They survived the barbaric torture. They survived the mental abuse. They survived the emotional abuse. And they survived the spiritual abuse. And they still managed to show up as genial, resilient people. Our affirmation for today, when I show up, 
winning shows up with me. When I show up, winning shows up with me. I would like to invite you to a virtual viewing and discussion of Dr. Joy DeGruz's presentation on post-traumatic slave syndrome. We will be doing it by Zoom on May 10th, Sunday, 2020, May, Sunday, May 10th, 2020 at 2 p.m. Central Time. The meeting Zoom ID is 8721297. Seven five three one six, and the password is zero one zero five six three. Let's come with an open mind, a willing heart, and let's discuss and let's heal together. Thank you so much for listening to the audio broadcast podcast presented to you by. Free Your Thinking Mind and Up Talk My Life. This is Sean Speaks, and I just want to say happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Ashe, free thinkers, ashe, may what you say manifests in your life today and every day. Ashe.